Welcome back to Mr. Bet on You. I'm gonna do DoorDash again. This video isn't clickbait. I'm gonna explain why. I wanna have a real conversation with you about pride, ego, and just because you and I or me might feel a certain way about something, other people shouldn't suffer because of it. Let's talk. I guess it's been a couple of months now since I pretty much self-deactivated myself. I made a video and told DoorDash, deactivate me, these clown customers. I put his thing up and I had his customer's name on there. Not address, but the name. I got deactivated for that reason. DoorDash, I reached out to them and said, is this why? They said yes. Recently though, they've told me there's ways for me to come back. Now, before I tell you about that, let's go back before we go forward a little bit. I hate people that don't tip. I think it is, I think those kind of people are the scum of the earth. I've talked about it in thousands of videos. That's how I feel. You will not change my mind. However, when you give miserable clowns, unkind people, as much energy as I have, you sometimes will lose. And I lost. I allowed my emotions to get the better of me and it took away opportunities for me to make money. It took away financial opportunities for me and my family. And for those that have been watching this channel, know what's important to me. My girls are on the top of that list. And I, as a man, as a provider of my family, the main provider, the provider, I can't let my emotions, my pride and my ego get the best of me because I've talked about it in other reasons. I, I put my pride and ego to the side when it came to acceptance rate and realizing certain things and it was great. And now I've noticed I can make about the same money, but I've got to juggle five different apps right now instead of two or three. And I don't like that if I'm being honest. I got the Walmart Spark app on and I'm rejecting offers and they're coming back. I got to deliver that app and I'm just having it, wishing and hoping and praying, crossing my fingers that something comes through. I got Uber, it's just trash after trash and maybe you get lucky. I got Instacart, man, I'm lucky if I make 60 bucks a week on that app. And then you got Curry, which I won't do anymore. So I only have four apps. And at the end, and at the end of the day, my daughter shouldn't have to suffer and sacrifice. Now we're fine. We're eating. We got a roof. It's not an end of the world by not having an app. But I don't want to work as many hours. The YouTube is less now. My YouTube learning this month will be the lowest it's ever been in over three years. This will be the lowest month. And that gives me pause. I have met, and if, you, if you're the ones that I've met, and there's been about a dozen in the last two months. Are you gonna get back on DoorDash? We need you on DoorDash. Drivers out there. You know who you are. We've met in a Quidoba, in a Papa John's, in a Aldi, in a Schnooks parking lot, at uh, Chili's. Man, you gotta get back on. You're gonna get back on. How you doing? You're gonna get back on. You're gonna, we need you, man. We need you. We need you. One guy called me a Quidoba, DoorDash, Jesus. He wanted to take a picture. I know what I meant to this community. Not for all, but for many. And I was the DoorDash guy. One of the DoorDash guys that would give you information, relatability, and, and test out things. And I haven't done that for two months. I've done other apps. You guys like that stuff. But I think, no, I know my pride and ego got in the way when I delivered back to back, double stack, no tips to two miserable people. And I made that video and I don't take anything back. You learn from lessons, you learn from failures and successes. But looking back, I gave two miserable people my energy and they won. And I don't like that. As a man, it doesn't look good. The optics of that, that's not a proud video. That's not something that I can stand by my last name and my family and say, yeah, guys, watch this video. Watch me go crazy on these two people that I don't even know. It's not good. It could be entertaining. It's real. It's relatable. That's not who I am. I can get back on DoorDash just by working my girlfriend's account. I don't want to go that route because I don't like that. If, if a customer is expecting Madison and I show up, 
not good. And I don't want to put her count at risk either. So I have not been using hers. I will not use hers. But I can get mine back. DoorDash told me so. So this is my question to you guys because I look at you guys have looked at me for information, knowledge, motivation, whatever. I have to, to at times look to you guys. Should I get back on DoorDash? Is there a benefit to that? I said I wouldn't, but at the end of the day, I lost an opportunity to earn. Now I'm having to do other apps that I really don't like as much, if I'm being honest. If I get back on DoorDash, if I do it again, is that taking a step backwards with this channel, with everything else? I don't know. But at the end of the day, when I wake up and go out and do my thing, and then come home, I want to come home as fast as I can. And not having one of the most popular gig apps in my market of St. Louis doesn't afford me that opportunity sometimes. Now, I still want to do the other things, and I don't want this channel never to be just DoorDash. That's not the thing. But I want to have a real conversation as, as I'm thinking about this, as people are talking to me, as people are asking me questions. I want to have this conversation with you guys in a video and get your opinion on it. And I'm going to read every comment, good, bad, or indifferent. I'm going to read them all. Should I get back on DoorDash? Do you want to see that content? Do you want that back. Now, I wouldn't change the name on the channel. I'm not going to go backwards in that way. But are you missing out on content that you used to like and enjoy? I am a GigTuber, YouTuber, whatever, right? And I have to take a pulse of my community from time to time. And I want to do that in this video. How do you feel about it? What do you think about it? I don't want to be in the gig economy for that much longer. However, I've realized me not doing DoorDash has actually been a negative for my family. It just has. I gotta call it how I see it. And we have financial goals we wanna reach, things we wanna accomplish as a family unit. I have personal goals and things I wanna accomplish. And not having the best app in St. Louis, and that's what it is. You can call it what you want, it is. I've done all the other ones enough now to realize that, that is the number one app in St. Louis for me. Should I go back? I want to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. I got one more thing. I'm going to be spending a day or two um, doing gig work, but as I see drivers, and I see drivers every day, I'm going to ask them questions, or I'm going to ask them, hey, I want to interview you for 30 seconds to a minute and ask you one or two questions. Would you like to be on We'd like to be interviewed for a YouTube thing. And some people are going to say no, and some people will say yes. I'm going to do that. But if you're in St. Louis and you're watching this video, email me. Mr. Bet on you, B E T O N Y O U, the number 81 at gmail.com. Mr. Bet on you, 81 at gmail.com. And if you want me to interview you and you want to be part of this series, basically the question is how is gig work for you right now? Are you making ends meet? And then just let the person talk. I want to get the pulse of the community in St. Louis. How is it? What apps do you work? Are you meeting your goals? And then 30 second to a minute, boom, boom, and I compile these 10 to 12 people. If you want to be a part of that, let me know in the comment section down below. If you live in St. Louis and want to help me video this instead of me just having my phone, if you want to video it so that me and the person's on the screen, you want to do that for a little bit, I'd pay you for your time. Email me as well. I'm gonna enjoy, I'm done working for the day. It is Friday. It's 301. It's 304. I'm sorry. On Friday. And I'm done working for the day. I've hit my financial goals. I feel good about it. But are we going back to DoorDash? I'm gonna read every comment. You guys tell me what you think. At the end of the day, we all take L's sometimes. I'm mad enough to admit. I did not handle that situation as a business though. As a businessman, I did not handle that correctly. I can admit that. I want you guys to have a great weekend. I hope to see you on the Sunday live show. That's all I got.
If you like this video or others, check out this one here. Consider hitting subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments.